Jermaine Ayotunde Sanwolu, uh, CEO of Diaspora PR and Diaspora Foundation, and uh, youth development advocates. It's quite interesting. Um, I won the Diaspora Foundation, and I've, I came back to Nigeria over these past two weeks, and I've been running leadership development programs um, for young people, for women empowerment, um, for I, I was in Ogun State yesterday, I was in um, um, two days ago, I was in Abuja on Tuesday, and I went to Yabatek where I trained over 150. In total, we closed up to 250 people in total. And whenever I start a session, I always ask them, what is the greatest problem of Nigeria? And they all say leadership. And I ask them the second question, how many of you here have invested in yourselves for a leadership development training? Now, many people have gone to university to learn technical skills, mm -hmm. theoretical skills. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to leadership skills, many of us do not even possess those skills. Because it's even an art and a science to be able to lead people, onto a pre with, uh, inspire and influence people onto the attainment of a predefined goal sure. successfully. That's leadership. And by, and, the way, and by the way, the current elders that are in charge, they have these skills? Well, um, it's some of them, they possess it in different measures. Okay. And as there's an IQ, you also possess a leadership quotient. Okay. When, when you look at things of character, things of um, competence, things of um, charisma, how you communicate clearly, not just your body language, too, but are you convincing, are you um, empathic, all those things have to play when a leader, uh, you're looking at leadership qualities of a person. And this is very important, that now leadership is not developed in a day, but it's developed daily. Mm -hmm. You look at these people in the House of Reps, those people in, pres in the, even the president now, it took him 11 years to get to a position of power. Um, power. You look at people like Dino Milaye, um, 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 Rochester Coach, governor, you see what all they do is that they've been investing since they were in secondary school, university, they've been developing their leadership pedigree. Um, head boy, um, student union activists, they're developing themselves and eventually, we're not surprised they're leaders. So the thing about the youths of today, we the youths of today, is that what are we investing today to be able to reap a reward tomorrow? When it comes, not monetary reward, but a, a reward as an opportunity to serve the people. Because you have to prepare for the new Nigeria. You have to be a new Nigeria and have a new orientation. And you possess prerequisite skills. This was a free leadership program that I'm doing, and I'm going to go in around the world, mm. to do, around, around the world and also around Nigeria. Because people need to learn how to lead. Okay. Because if you don't know how to lead, you don't know how to, you can tell people what to do, but if you can't show them how to do it, and you don't have even the know-how, there's no way you're going to be able to take them to the, to, the, to the desired destination. A leader is like a mentor. It's like a man, a man who takes you on a tour. If you've not been there, you've not done that, you cannot take other people along. And that's what we see. For us to multiply the success and results no, and growth in our nation, people don't mind. we need to develop more leaders. Yes, okay. Young because, leaders. Yeah, yeah, what you've just said, I think people do it, but unfortunately, they do it for their own children so as to perpetuate. And you don't have even the know-how, there's no way you're going to be able to take them to the, to, the, to the desired destination. A leader is like a mentor. It's like a man, a man who takes you on a tour. If you've not been there, you've not done that, you cannot take other people along. And that's what we see. For us to multiply the success and results no, and growth in our nation, people don't mind. we need to develop more leaders. Yes, okay. Young because, leaders. Yeah, yeah, what you've just said, I think people do it, but unfortunately, they do it for their own children so as to perpetuate the whole situation. If, if I can just find a way to bring my own child, my child. own blood child into this thing, so it can continue the cycle. Exactly. Um, but I, but I leadership is about break. selflessness. Exactly. Not just about you, but about the benefit of the whole nation. What do you think about the fact that you guys, the youth, you know, uh, you didn't get much look in when, when President Obasanjo, or for that matter, IBB, uh, was there. Um, over the years, not just the Buhari, uh, the Buhari administration or the Jonathan administration or even the um, President Olusegun Obasanjo administration, we've seen um, whereby youths have not been given expression. They've been actually um, exposed more to suppression. That's what we've been seeing. And it all storms, stems from the colonial era to the military era, trying to, you know, the youth are the energy of the nation and the strength of the nation. If you let them express themselves, they may actually do certain things. And um, we've seen oh, but that. You're, but you're now ready to put it in the hands of those youths. Those youths now. now that you are not there anymore. Yes. So, now that you serve. And, and exactly. You have left. I've left. And what they, they, they are coming to terms with, because it's a trend in our world now, is that um, leadership is about um, succession. The success of a leader is dependent upon the, um, the success of those that come after him. 
you know. So um, we see one of uh, one of our great leaders, um, love him or hate him, um, um, Bolamed, um, Ashiwaji Bolamed Chinumbu. Um, we've seen the the, play, the, the, the the exampleship and leadership when it comes to succession um, planning in that, and we can see how Lagos is benefiting from that. And that's why I like to say that um, he possesses one leadership quality. When you say Ashiwaji, that means someone that um, gets there before everybody else. But he's also, in my own words, I see Iwaju. That means that I can see the future. <laughs> I can see who... This England who, interpretation you are bringing yeah. to a Yoruba world. Yes. Ashwaju is simply a leader. A leader, exactly. And you leaders know. see before others yes. and they see ahead sure. of others. Sure. And that's what I'm saying by Ashwaju. Mm. And this is one thing that they, when they were leaders, um, the president, when it was President Lucia Robert and other leaders, that they should look at the future and see that who are the next generation of leaders that will be taking this mantleship and going to run with a vision I've, I've casted for the nation. Dubai, other great nations, they have a 20 years, 20 five year plan and it's almost, they've almost constitutionalized the vision for the nation. What is the vision of Nigeria that people can follow, that the youth energetically and passionately can follow and say this is the new Nigeria mm -hmm. that we want to see being built in mm -hmm. our own mm -hmm. lifetime. Mm -hmm. There must be succession planning and when I say succession planning, I don't just mean about planning for one successor. successor. You, you need to find successors that would all follow, that you would pour out yourself in. I remember a while ago, was it um, um, the, the um, governor of Kaduna and it may be even um, president, um, former President Olusha Gapo Obasanjo that said, you know what, that lead, youth have to take that power. Mm. But you know, great leaders um, don't um, wait for people to take power. They give power away. They give power to people who well, can actually on develop. Hand. And then yeah. the other people say that power doesn't want to move, but you've got to take it by force. So, uh, you well, know, yeah, you say, you know, um, by the time you turn to the word of God, yeah, well, you know, well, the well, word of God says you take it by force. Said, these people, take are, not, says, these the people time, are not going to give it to you. Yes, it says since the time of John the Baptist. But <laughs> after John the Baptist, you need to just came, which was Jesus Christ. And what Jesus Christ did, he said that all power I've given unto you, okay. go into, he gave 12 people, give people options on who they should choose. Pour yourself out into people, develop new leaders that can create a new generation. Now, what's your perspective on President Obasanjo's message? Well, he has the right and the freedom to express his own views. And um, I believe many of those things that he said were in the minds of many Nigerians out there. But being someone who's an elder state man, a former uh, military president and also um, oh, democratic. um, democratic elected president too, um, that gives it a bit of um, clout, a mm. bit of um, amplification to mm. the message. Um, but I always tell people, take away, um, don't look so much at the message, uh, but look at the message, yes. what it's talking about. And, um, what is really spoken about about the youth having a role to play? It's essential for national development because I believe 65 percent of our population are um, young people, and we have that voting power, and we also have a voice to demand for change. Um, but more importantly, you also talk about um, the competence of this government. You know, um, the present administration, even the president himself, came on that mantra. You know, that is a man of character, integrity, and all that to fight corruption. But to fight corruption and all that um, vices in the society, and even to develop nation you need more than character you need to be competent you need to be consistent in what you are doing and you need to find creative ways of delivering change to the people so um, um to, to talk about david um, one of the original leaders in um, the, the bible in israel then what he was that he, he led israel um, with integrity of heart and also skill mm -hmm. in his hands so um what is the skill that is this administration actually putting into implementation for national development and transformation okay and i believe that what the key of his message is that is the Barbie administration actually delivering on what it promises people mm -hmm. and um, that's why I believe he's keeping is echoing that message rehashing it okay. um, and, and we amplifying it so that people can they can actually step up um, or step aside for people to take over that will do that and help our youth the truth to know because you know when you know the truth you'll be free you'll be liberated to express yourself and be all you can be it's important that the youth of today know what they are going to do, even though when they are in office. We spoke about all those men, great men, uh, our founding fathers who have done great things. They knew the truth, and most especially, they did something with it. Now, leadership is about influence. It's about influence. And what the young people of our generation, like myself, have to find a way of doing is that we should not just start seeking positional, political position. You see, when you're influencing your community, you are influencing your locality. You are influencing one person, one life at a time. By serving By that serving community. By serving that community, politicians, they will find you irresistible. 
Many of us are just looking for appointments, even though we're from diaspora, we are going there, capping and please help me out. But once I am serving, I am helping people out, the people know who I am. You know, the leader touches the hearts of people then asks for their hands for mm, votes. Mm. And when you're doing that, what would the politicians do? Be like, everybody's talking about you in this local government. Are you, uh, what Rather than a billionaire coming to you, looking yes. for a billionaire, people will start funding you to continue what you are doing and going to power. That's how we started when it came to Zeke and all these men. They had grassroots impact and there was participation. Yeah. There was a law of buying yeah, exactly. and they gained momentum and they were change makers and revolutionary in our generation. Now, when, right. Are you sure the youths have an ideology or are, are, are able to get hold of an ideology to push? Very good. You know, we must change the whole leadership mindset and also matrix in our nation. Leadership, as I said, is about influence. I like to see influence as the inflow of essence. You can't give what you don't have. And what we have seen in our generation so far is that followers will do not just what you say, but what they see you do. Mm -hmm. The previous generational, the generation of leaders that we've had in this nation, we, as you mentioned, we've seen them um, to go in there and benefit them themselves. So it's only natural if the young generation coming up are looking for ways to go there to yes. and get money. It's exactly. influence. Exactly. So they are saying that, oh, the youths have to rise up. First of all, the elder generation have to lead by example. They have to show that this is how we're going to do it. We are going to change ourselves. We're going to change begins with me themselves and begin to start saying this is how things should be done. I um, uh, intervention, leadership intervention is very critical. The federal government should be sponsoring this if they, if they are really sure they want you to take over. Sure. So that that is in addition yeah, yeah, yeah. So to, that through to, to, his to training, enabling education. Yeah, so that through his training, because leadership training is special education. You don't really source it from university. It's special education. It falls on that special. So, so it's important Then we drive this in so that we now have ideology. I don't know. Youths are supposed to say yes, sir, and uh, to uh, follow, follow, follow in line. So I don't know really how much respect or regard is given the youth that you are now encouraging to come on out and, and uh, maybe uh, perform on merit. Well... I believe the youths have to have that technical and theoretical background and they must also have that leadership and skills for governance and all that. Um, because um, you see, in our generation today, what we need in this nation for the transformation of, of, our, of our country, that yeah. we need not just one person that starts a change, but we need a, a, a series of people that will sustain that change. Exactly. Now, there's what they call the law of the inner circle. That means that a, leadership put, a leader's potential is determined by those closest to him. So we need people who are going to be around our leaders who will do great things and will begin to lead the nation in a great way. And I believe we have those yeah, leaders. Yeah, we do, but we need to develop more young ones who will join such inner circles that are able to move the nation forward. Mm -hmm. And as I really want to thank you for that commendation about the program. This training that I'm doing, Diaspora Foundation, is absolutely free. Okay. I'll fight for uh, don't, 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 don't promote that. Don't I'm promote it. Don't promote it. I'm saying that <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm promoting was just joking. national <laughs> development joking. and leadership and development for you. change. And may I also... And uh, Jermaine uh, Ayotunde uh, Sanwolu, thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Indeed. Indeed.